What's up guys, today we're gonna to be going over the plank and our top five advanced plank exercises that we suggest you guys try for some killer abs. Let's get into it. All right guys, so the plank creates a stiffness in your abdominal core and then creates that rigidness and all your muscles keeps them tight, keeps them contracted and keeps them static all the way from your shoulders to your kneecaps. You're gonna incorporate so many different muscle groups. It's a burner and it has a different play on gravity. As a lot of exercises, gravity is pulling you downward from a vertical position, whereas this is pulling your middle core region to the floor, forcing you to learn to engage it and to recruit the fibers needed to hold you up straight. So to do this and to do this correctly, you're gonna be feeling a little bit in your shoulders, your biceps, your abs, your glutes, your hamstrings, and several other minor muscles, especially in the spinal region. However, you don't wanna feel it too much in these regions because that will mean you're doing it wrong. It's very important you're feeling it in your stomach region. So within the plank, gravity is gonna be pulling you downward and you're gonna be in need of torso support. So a lot of you guys who do the plank and you're like, I'm not feeling it at all, chances are you're doing it wrong. This should be a tough exercise and what we're actually gonna do now is we're gonna show you some incorrect variations. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so here Kyle is showing you a very incorrect version that a lot of people do where they stick their butt right up in the air. Here you're just using your leverages to your advantage and putting a lot of the pressure on your shoulders. This isn't that hard to do. I really would recommend not considering this a plank because it frankly is not. At the same end, at the other end of the spectrum rather, going all the way down like this is also not a plank. You're letting yourself sink and you are not working your abs close to whatever. So really stay away from that. And then lastly, this is just a complete collapse and a sad attempt at a plank. All right, so the number one is the leg, leg arm lift for the plank. So here Kyle is gonna go ahead and demonstrate lifting the arm. This is gonna transfer some of the weight and force you to recruit a lot of those abdominals and stabilizer muscles. Now, same thing with the legs. You're gonna to have to learn to balance. You're gonna use a lot of your stabilizers, bringing your obliques a little bit more, and just provide some new insight and challenge to the exercise. Now, if you guys really got a good roll going, and you feel you're pretty advanced, I'd really recommend this leg and arm raise combo this is absolutely killer as you can see i'm kind of having a bit of time balancing it out myself make sure you got your butt up just a little bit you're contracting your abs the entire time hold through it i know it's not easy but push through do each side and it will burn next we have the side plank also known as the star plank here kyle's doing the easier variation he has his arm on a 90 degree angle on the floor nice and simple then over here, this is the star variation. This is very hard, requires a lot of um, stabilizer muscles, really brings in the obliques, a lot of work on the shoulder, and it takes a lot of practice. Next, we have the weighted plank. This one's nice and simple. I didn't film it because unfortunately, we didn't have any plates in the studio. This adds extra resistance if you are doing it correctly and you still aren't feeling it enough. We have the hip dip planks. These are my go-to oblique work. Here, you're still doing your plank. You're making sure you're squeezing your abs and you're dipping that hip right to the ground nice and far squeezing your obliques as you can these are your rotary muscles of your abdominal trunk and these will burn the more you do i love them it's definitely my go-to i like to keep it on my tippy toes and just twist around from there lastly we have the plank rollout with the exercise ball this one's a beast one to do i can only do five so i got kyle to demonstrate it for you guys here you can see just as a little setup it's a little bit tough to get into but you want to find your balance first just like he did here then you're going to push it out fully extend yourself like an ab roller this one is just brutal it requires so much dexterity and ability to stabilize hold yourself up as well as good abdominal control make sure you're still squeezing those abs and doing it properly and not cheating through the exercise there you guys have it that's our top five advanced exercises make sure you guys are using this we'll put a little mock routine for you to try down in the description so you can check that out grab that for free get some killer apps please make sure you're doing these right and remember it's all about engagement with your mind and the muscle above everything else that's how you do it we'll see you guys in the next episode check out our other videos here boom It's not how you plank, bro. No texting.